As you have heard from the minister in the last few days, he sat down with the leaders of the doctors. They put on the table at least six things that they wanted. He made concessions and Dr Steve Hambleton behind closed doors said, you have addressed our concerns. He said that. Okay, we have addressed the concerns. So we're on the side of patients, Madam Speaker. We're on the side of Queenslanders who are taxpayers who want to see their money spent wisely. We're on the side of the Auditor General, who has said that $800 million has been completely wasted or rorted and it needs to be addressed. And, Madam Speaker, it will be addressed. Madam Speaker, do not doubt the government's resolve. Do not doubt that we are going to see this thing through, that we will listen to the Auditor General, we will take action and we will create the best public health Premier's system in the nation. Premier's time has expired. These individuals are not Order. These individuals are not lowly workers on a factory poor being paid fifty thousand dollars a year. They're paying four hundred or five hundred thousand dollars a day. They're highly trained, highly respected, well remunerated, and they're being taken care of. What we want to do though, Madam Speaker, is look after patients. I urge doctors to look beyond the nonsense and innuendo from people like Professor Fraser find out the facts and then I urge them to look after patients and continue in the system. If they don't wish to, that's their decision. We will go and recruit other doctors to replace them if they do resign.